Hey everybody, this is a quick little video that I wanted to show to explain some changes that I'm making in the way that I rig characters and maybe it'll be helpful for you as you create smart bones. So in this case I'm going to look at the a smart bone that I'll create for the uh, lower part of what I call the left arm. It is actually the right arm but uh, just on the left side. So Clearly we want to create a smart bone action for this character because as we uh, move the arm up and down it, uh, our, the lower arm, it causes uh, kind of a strange behavior that we don't want. So now, uh, typically when you create smart bone actions, the way they teach it is to create two actions, one for one side and one for the other. But there's also another way that you can do that, and you can uh, create both directions with a single um, action, and that's the way that I've typically done things. So what you'll do is um, I'm on the bone layer, and I'm going to select that uh, left lower arm and just click here. And because I have the bone selected already, it's going to name the action as a smart bone action, which is what I want. And so I'm going to say OK. And so now it brings up the bone uh, layer. And so I'm going to move it, the bone, to one position for frame one. And then I'm going to scrub the timeline to go to 24 and move the bone to a, another position. Okay, and what I'm going to do then, of course, I'm going to scrub it to wherever I want. And let's go to frame one, for example, right now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And now I'm going to fix um, those points. And so I go to left arm. And I'm going to just first set the curvature for this point. Expand it out and move it a little bit. And then move this inner point. So now we have set the first part. But notice as we move it, ooh, that looks really weird. So what you typically do is we always want to come over here and copy. Um, actually, we want to copy the bone. We go to the bone layer and copy these bones and go to the middle frame and paste. And we want to do the same thing for the points, copy and paste. So basically what we have, what we've done is we've set the bone and the points to be the same as they are when that bone is in its neutral position. Now we go to the 20, frame 24 and I'm going to uh, again select the arm and I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did which is first go over here and set the curvature then move the point and move that other point to another place. I'm drag this curvature a little bit closer. But now we can see we've got a nice kind of movement. So that all looks good. So I'm happy with that. And then I say that smart bone is, is done. The problem is that the way I copied to the middle, and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. And what that does is that I actually copied too many bones. And to show you what happens with that, you may not have even noticed it, um, but as I move these target bones, now, oops, my target bones aren't working the way they're supposed to. And that's because in the smart bone action for this left arm, it has affected the way the other bones work. And we can see that if I go back to the left forearm, and now I'm going to have the bone selection tool. I'm on the bone layer and I'm going to do control A to select all of the bones. Now the only bone that really should be moving because we're really just doing a smart bone for that one bone, the only bone that should be affected is that uh, left forearm. So if I do control and click on that, now all of the bones are selected except for that one bone and notice here that for these uh, selected bones there should be no frames there and those are the frames that are causing the problem because basically what's happening is we've got bone angles for these um, lower leg, upper leg and all the other bones 
And so that's why when I move the target bones, the lower leg doesn't uh, do anything because it's thinking it's supposed to be uh, down like that. And so if you have that problem and you're using a single action, the way that you can do that, get to fix that, is to select those keys and delete them. And now the only bone that's affected, and let me prove this, is I'm going to go over here as I select that, and we can see that that left forearm bone is affected. Now, again, control A to select them all, control to get rid of that, and you see that that's the only bone that is affected. So now I'm going to go back to the main line, and we can see as I move that arm and move the character, now uh, these target bones work as they're supposed to. Now, if you've been doing this, if you've been rigging a character a whole lot, you may not have even noticed that that's happening, and so you could have created a number of smart bones that would affect things like the leg positions or any number of other things. So part of that is to show you um, what that problem is, what's going on, and why you have to be careful. But the next point is to show you, well, okay, if I want that single action for the left forearm, how, what, what do I do? How do I do it properly so that I don't have to go back and fix things? I, I can select all the bones, but if I forget to do that, um, that can be a problem. So really what you want to do, let me get rid of this uh, middle layer, middle bone thing there. And, and again, see, we see in the middle it's not quite right. Something's a little messed up, and that's because the angle needs to be copied. But what you want to do is you want to only copy the selected bone angle. You don't want to copy the all the bone angles. That will copy for all the bones, even though they're not selected. So you want to copy that one, Control-C for copy, and then go to that middle position, and then uh, select it. So now the bone works properly. And when I go back to the main line, you'll see that this target bone is still working as you'd expect it to work. So the key point being is if you're going to use this uh, single action for dual movement and you copy into the middle, make sure that you copy only for the selected bone. You copy only that um, selected bone angle. So now you, you may ask, well, why do we even do that? Um, why not just use two angles? And, and really, that's probably the better answer, especially in MOHO 12. Um, in earlier versions, we didn't have these tabs. And so um, sometimes I would do this just because I didn't want to have just lots and lots and lots of um, smart bone, two, two smart bone actions for every smart bone. It just populated that. But now that we've got the tab, for smart bone actions versus the others, um, now the regular actions and the morph type of actions are not uh, not noisy, if you will, not uh, overcrowded with these other actions. So uh, what you can do is go back to the bone layer, and really the the better thing, and I'll go ahead and delete this. Um, I've now gotten rid of that smart bone action. And so if I'm using um, regular smart bones with, with two of them per smart bone, two actions per smart bone, then it actually I don't have that other problem of the copy. So to do it, it's the same thing except for I you know make sure that I've selected that bone, select smart bone, um, create a new action, and it properly names it. And then I just move to frame 24. You can choose whatever frame you want and set the angle. Then go to the arm and do the same kinds of things that we've been doing before um, to move those points around for that action. And then just close it. So that's all I had to do for that smart bone. So that's really nice. And then I'm going to do it again. And what is nice about MOHO 12 is when I click again, I'm going back to the make sure you go back to the bone layer because you want it defined from the bone layer. Select the bone and then notice it will name it properly which with that too. So now that MOHO knows how to, to deal with that as a separate action. And we'll just move that 
in the other direction. Now I should have put it on frame 24, so I'm going to drag those all over there. Um, and go to the left arm on frame 24 and again do what we've been doing move these these points appropriately and so now we see that action is working and notice just to show you notice that if I zoom back out and I decide that I want to check those feet to see if they're working right yep they're working right because there isn't a problem uh, that there was with that single bone type of action and again the nice thing is that these um, regular and morph um, tabs are not filled up with this these extra smart bone actions so you could have lots and lots of smart bone actions that doesn't don't get in the way so anyway, that's just a quick uh, discussion about uh, how I'm going to change back to using two bones for the smart or two actions for the smart bones, uh, just because it's less likely to create mistakes. And with the new um, tabs in Moho, I think it's Moho 12 is where they introduced them. Um, they don't get in the way of the other actions. So hope that's helpful.